the scene I was at, we used to make fun of all LA bands. There was always the, the glam versus the, the thrash thing. Yeah, yeah. And then when we heard, oh, there's this band in LA and they dress in stripes and they throw Bibles to the audience. <laughs> of course, we had to make fun a little bit. But you, know you guys have you yeah. know, gotten beyond that. And I've met other guys in like the death metal and black metal world. Oh, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't think, but they're, yeah. they're, they're fans of you guys. Yeah. And I, I think that's pretty cool. Hey man. Whoa. I feel like I'm walking into a music store and someone's jamming. What are you doing here? <laughs> what a surprise. How are you? Sweet. <laughs> Good to see you. You got your guitar? I don't. Well, uh, you can play mine. That's awesome, can... man. Oh, yeah. dude, you. You you play guitar today. I'm I'm here to just talk shop oh. with you, and and uh, I think we have lots of questions for one another, and, and we just do. hanging yeah. out. Yeah, this is going to be really cool. Yeah, when when was the last time we saw each other? I think uh, the last time we saw each other was in uh, in Holland. Eindhoven, Joe. Yeah. I know, then, yeah, and so uh, that it's was actually eighty-seven. Really, that was eighty-seven. That was um, our first time in Europe. Some funny stories about that show. It was said that be, because we were called Testament, <laughs> that it was like a Christian rock thing to put us together. If, if I'm thinking of the same festival, I remember that. I remember it was wondering. Dynamo. Yeah, Dynamo. I, and I remember wondering, wow, it, it was interesting because I think I had read something somewhere something to the effect that we had said no pot backstage or right, that alcohol was, backstage or something like that, right? That was what we, we which had is, heard, which, which is, I don't think it came from you guys. Never came from us. Yeah. We've, we've never in, our, in the history of the band have we ever called up and said, hey, you know, no pot or alcohol backstage. As a matter of fact, we, we have wine on our rider and we, you know, before we which go Which I on, applaud. The funny thing is, as bands get older, too, I mean, I... Now our our backstage is, is like that. I mean, we can, what, we no can pot, drink, no alcohol, no smoking. Yeah, it's yeah, just smoke. Yeah, yeah. The smoking yeah. ban is yeah a great thing. Just uh, you know for health reasons. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know? But back then, right, we had no rules of any any type or kind or source or nothing like that. What do you what do you think about uh, covers? Bands doing covers. I'm all for it. Actually, uh, as long be as... Be careful now, because we did. <laughs> yeah. We, we both have. <laughs> well, my favorite bands what, all did covers back in the day. You know, Van Halen was Van one Halen's of the reasons Van always done guitar. covers, right? They made it they, off of a cover. Exactly. They exactly. broke off of a cover. And they developed their sound by doing covers. Um, and, you know, that's, there's a, a tradition there. It yeah. goes back to, you know, the, the Rolling Stones doing Howlin' Wolf. We did a, an entire cover album. Mm -hmm. Every song on there is a cover except one original. The reason why we did that was uh, the first and most important being that we wanted to show people where we come from musically. Mm -hmm. And it was a shock because we're a Christian band. Right. You know, we're, we're a rock band made up of Christians. I always, I always... Uh, As a whole other well, topic. Well, yeah. I don't like being called a Christian band. Yeah. We're, we're a rock band made up of Christians, but anyway. And you guys have hung in there with some rock credibility we've I mean. tr we've tried i mean we grew up on the streets of la uh you know playing with motley Crue and rat and all these bands and right. those are our our stomping grounds and where we come from it, the initial shock of it was like what they're a christian band they can't be a christian band they're playing black sabbath right uh, you know judas priest uh, you know maiden all this stuff and uh, ozzy osbourne and and then once they let the the veil down they all said oh wow this is cool yeah yeah well you guys showed also a human side to us and you, you did know? some different stuff too you did um an earth wind and fire song if i recall that was right. way back yeah that's that... pretty cool though i i'm into <laughs> stuff like that we actually did a queen tune which song uh dragon attack oh wow 
And wow, that, cool. to me, th those are the covers that- I gotta hear that, man. I like to do, the ones that are completely unexpected. That's awesome. Queen is sort of an honorary metal band, too. You know, I think there's some they bands are. that are clearly metal bands. There are some that are, are liked by all fans, including right. metalheads, that yeah. aren't necessarily metal fans. I think Queen is an example. Absolutely, of that. Queen. Queen definitely had that edge, and not only that edge, but they were so different. You know, right. such a unique sound. So part of what defines metal, I think, could be found in groups like them. And I think Pink Floyd is another honorary metal band. A lot of metal heads like them. Yeah. Um, see, we. I was talking with someone earlier about this, about what defines metal, mm -hmm. and. I, I, I wouldn't choose many of today's bands yeah, I wouldn't to either. define metal. And some of the ones that call themselves metal, I wouldn't say they're metal. And some of the ones that don't call themselves metal, I, I think, are actually more metal. I know, but they're labeled metal. Yeah. Categorization is, is a very strange it is. thing. It is. It really is a strange thing. And, uh, you know, it's... I, I, when I think metal, I, I, I just instantly think old school. Yeah. It's just where my mind goes. 70s, some 80s. Well, but getting back to what you said earlier, I think it's, it's great how you guys sort of uh, shed the Christian rock thing a little bit. I mean, you, it's still there, but you sort yeah. of and people, have an identity outside of that. Absolutely, well. and it's a fine line, because our Christian base, our Christian fans, the minute we say we're not a Christian band, you know, they're up in arms thinking, what? Right. You know, you're denying what you've stood for for 30 years. And it's not about that at all. We, we put our faith in God and we, you know, we never, ever deny that or sweep that under the carpet. But at the same time, we're a rock band. With the album we did called The Covering, we, uh, we really strayed, we stayed true to form of the original. Right. The Queen song that you guys did. I'm very curious. Okay, well, I think with any song, it's going to take on the quality of the band. There's yeah. no way Striper can do an Earth, Wind, and Fire song, for example. Right. Or what are some of the other covers you did? Oh, gosh. On the covering, we did uh, Black Sabbath, Heaven, and Hell. Right. So that's, it's going to sound it, Yeah, because, like I mean, it's and... me singing, you know, and I always refer to my voice as the heavy metal Dennis DeYoung. So it sounds like right. Dennis DeYoung getting metal <laughs> on, on Heaven and Hell. Great. But, man, show me... Show me uh, what you what you did. It, it, okay, well, do you, same thing. Do you recall the, the original? Do you remember the original riff? The riff was something like this. Um. Right. Yeah, so a real groove-oriented... Groove-oriented one guitar. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's down, right? So, it's, right? so that's what it sounds like. In that key, right? So, so actually, the whole guitar is two and a half step down. So yeah, I'd actually be playing here yep. on the fifth fret, but it would sound like this. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, and then the next part. Right. Okay, I'm going to move back to D now. Right? Well, uh, we also tuned the drop D. Right. All right. So now this next part was right. So it just got a little bit more. Right. Right. So, so a little more umph to it. Yeah. It takes on this whole um, sort of crunchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quality. And of course the tone of the guitar. You know, Brian Mays was like. Ours is like, but even more yep, distorted. Yep, than yep. That, and and also it. Brian had he made his own guitars, right? Oh, he's brilliant. So brilliant just person. yeah, his did. own sound, unlike any other. He not only made his own guitar, he made the guitar that he still plays. That's crazy to this day. Wow, that's one side of that. Now right. the other side is covering your own material. Oh, yeah, which yeah. we've both done. Sure. We we made a record called Second Coming. We re-recorded all our old song, or a lot of our old songs. You guys re-recorded a lot of your songs. We did. I'm I'm curious. Why did you guys do it? We did it partially because um, production has gotten much better. Yeah. Especially for uh, the genre right. that we're in, thrash metal. When we started out, it was very um, sort of no noise oriented music. It wasn't about like tight, crispy 
production. By the time we re-recorded, uh, we knew how to get the sounds we wanted. We always felt like those first couple records didn't, were kind of lacking yeah. production. We did it for that. That was a that was big a part of reason, why we yeah. did it. The other reason why we did it was to regain the rights to a lot of our old songs. We signed a new oh, publishing deal. That's an interesting reason. Because we, they were right. pitching our songs to film and TV, and we were getting no's from the company that owned the catalog. Right. We were through our agreement in terms of re-recording, and we figured, you know, let's, let's just re-record right. these songs, and that's what we did. We had something like that happen with a, a video game that wanted to use our right. song. And we couldn't use the song because yeah. they couldn't find the masters. Right. We chose to just re-record the songs, and we're even planning on re-recording, doing another re-recording. Well, this was great. So. By doing that, we had the option to use these songs, you know, if, yeah. if uh, an opportunity for usage comes up. Absolutely. Who knows what happened there? Yeah. Not much was said, and I think it was better for everyone overall. And as a fan, I look at him and go, woo! Yeah. 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 Right. How cool is that?